Hello boys and girls and I hope that you are having a great day. Yesterday we started our week of measurement in math and we talked about how we could use pennies to measure objects and we um, compared um, a phone case and a magnet um, and we lined pennies up next to those objects to see how long they were and we figured out that the phone case was longer than the magnet because it took more pennies um, lined up next to it to see how long it was and you did an activity um, where you used pennies to measure objects. Today we're going to be specifically talking about um, how we use non-standard units of measurement um, or non-standard units to measure objects and yesterday we used pennies to to measure and a penny is definitely um, a non-standard unit um, of measurement um, and when we say non-standard unit that just means we're using something other than a ruler to measure and see how long something is so today um, I am actually going to be using a type of food we're going to be using pieces of cereal to measure objects. So anytime you can bring food into the lesson, it's going to be good because we all like to eat. So um, when I'm finished with the lesson, you can be thinking about things that you have in your house that you can use to measure. Um, and if you have cereal, that'll work great. All right, so let's get started. So for today's lesson, we are going to use a pen and a magnet and a notebook okay so what we want to do is um, start with one of the objects I'm going to start with the notebook and I'm going to um, lay it on the white paper so that you can see um, what I'm doing um, the white paper helps you to see better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line my pieces of cereal up against my notebook. And remember when you're doing this to make sure that you're not leaving any gaps and you are not laying your whatever object you're using, you're not laying them on top of each other. Because if you do that, then your number will not be accurate. And also make sure that you lay your objects in the same direction, okay? Because if you lay one long ways and one sideways, it's not going to be accurate, okay? They all have to be laying the same way. All right. So I've got my pieces of cereal here lined up against my notebook. And then I'm going to go back and count how many pieces of cereal it took to measure my notebook, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so my notebook is nine pieces of cereal long. Okay, so I'm going to move those to the side. And then I'm going to move my notebook. And I'm going to start with the pen next. Okay, so I'm going to lay my pen down. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to line the pieces of cereal against the pen. And again, make sure that they are all in the same direction and they are not um, laying on top of each other or um, there's no space between them. All right, so now I'm gonna count and see how many pieces of cereal it took to measure my pen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so, so far the notebook was nine pieces of cereal long and the pen is seven pieces long. So let's do our last object, which is going to be the magnet. And we're gonna do the same thing again. Just line those, whatever object you're using against what you're measuring. All right, and we're gonna count that, and it's one, two, three, four. Okay, so we had 
the notebook being nine pieces of cereal long, the pen being seven, and the magnet being four. So that tells us that the notebook is the longest and the magnet is the shortest. You can also take your objects and lay them next to each other. And if I were to say, um, put your objects in order from the longest to the shortest, then we would want to take the notebook first and, and then put the pen beside of it and then put the magnet beside of it, okay? And when I turn, when I do this, um, you can see, let me try this, when I uh, line them up next to each other, you can see the difference, okay? You can see the, how the length is different. This is the longest, the pen is in the middle, and then the magnet is the shortest. Now, if I said put the objects in order from shortest to longest, well, then you would switch them around, and you would put the magnet first, then the pen, and then the notebook, okay? And you can definitely, when you look at the top of each object, you can definitely see the difference, okay? So I hope this has helped you understand more about what non-standard units of measurement are and how you can use those to measure objects and figure out what things are um, shortest and what things are longest, okay? So enjoy your activity and we'll see you next time.